Yeah, the, the guitar amp, yeah, it's not really for the engine, it's just a weight to hold out to it. And as you can see, there's the piston right there and the valve. We got the flywheel here. Got our camshaft here. It's got a, it's a shock. We got our crankshaft. Just turning it over. As you can see, there's the valve here. Moves. And since this is powered by a vacuum, it kind of works backwards from an actual engine. So the power stroke is when the, in when the piston is coming up right now. Since the vacuum is sucking it, that's why the valve closes. So it swings back around. When they're, once they're down at bottom dead center, the valve opens back up. Vacuum sucks it back up again. Now this will not turn over without it running counterclockwise. Otherwise it won't run. And now I will turn it over. It obviously runs much faster than that, but you can basically get a basic concept. And you can also see a roll. Got our valve on the left, crankshaft on the right. As you can see, there's the piston right there, bottom dead center. Camshaft is 90 degrees ahead. And this is lubricated with Vaseline. Not WD-40 like the average. And this is spring-loaded. As you can see, I'm pushing down on it. So that way it can flex if it needs to. Got our big flywheel here, too. And obviously this goes a lot faster when it's going normally, so... And finally, we got our vacuum intake here. Here it is. You stick a vacuum right up to it right there. All you gotta do is just turn it on, stick it there, spin it counterclockwise. Just get started just like a real engine kind of. And then you're good. It'll run itself. 